Hi, future fourth graders. I'm Mrs. Cancelier, one of the fourth grade teachers at Washington. And in this video, you're going to learn about the ABCs of fourth grade. In this video, you'll get to meet the other fourth grade teachers. And with the help of our students, you'll learn about the fun and exciting things to look forward to in fourth grade. My class will start you with A and B. I can't wait to see you next year. A is for arithmetic. This means when we add, subtract, multiply, and divide in math class, you will learn many new skills in math in fourth grade. In math, we practice adding large numbers and even money. We subtract big numbers too! You will learn to multiply using different strategies. We divide lo using long division. It can be very long. You will practice whole number and decimal place value. Trigonometry is fun. Shapes, lines, and angles. Fractions are easy. Just a numerator and a denominator. We are doing that more like a pop away. For example, 25 plus 38 is like 25 and 3800. B is for books. You will read realistic fiction, science fiction, historical fiction, tall tales, biographies, and all sorts of nonfiction. My favorite book we read was The Right Dog for the Job because it tells you about a dog job in life. My favorite book we read was Owen and Ms. Egg because it is a story of friendship. One of the most important skills in fourth grade, ELA is citing text evidence. You may already know about races, but you will get even better at it in fourth grade. You will, you will learn a lot of new vocabulary words like un, unfortunate, target, and re register. You will get better at making an inference. That means using clues in the text to figure things out that the author doesn't directly say. My favorite book we read was, it was very, Owen oh, Mose, it was very cool to learn how they get along. She is for community. In our class, we are one big community. We help each other when we need it and work together to get things done. These for division. In fourth grade, you will learn how to divide. You will practice dividing with and without remainders and even learn double digits. Right, guys? Yeah. yeah. Right. In fourth grade, people do a lot of entertaining, like so. My friend thinks he's smart. He said the only food that can make you cry is an onion. So I threw a coconut at his head. <laughs> okay, okay. That was a good one. But I have a better one. What is a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. <laughs> okay, okay. What's a fish with no eye? A fish. <laughs> okay. I guess it's time to clean up. It's We have to get back to work. All right. In fourth grade, you can make a lot of friends. Hey guys! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! One, two, three! Friendship! All right, fourth grade, today we are going to be putting together an ABC video to help our third graders prepare to come to fourth grade. Our letters for the video are the letters G and H. So we want to come up with some fourth grade words or topics that they can expect to learn when they come to fourth grade. So let's start with the letter G. What are some things that we covered in fourth grade that start with the letter G? Haley. In math, we learned how to do geometry. Ooh, we learned geometry in math. So we learned about different shapes and patterns. Excellent idea, geometry. What else did we learn? Jake. Grammar. We did, we did so much grammar every week and it made us better writers. So we'll definitely learn some grammar. What else? Patrick. Oh, we learned government. Government. We learned about the three branches of Pennsylvania government and who our governor is. Excellent ideas. Zach. Genius. Genius, you all became a genius by the end of fourth grade. Okay. Those are good ideas. All right, how about the letter H? What did we cover in fourth grade that starts with the letter H? Nathan? The World According to Humphrey. We read the story, The World According to Humphrey. Great story about AJ and his family, all the noise and chaos in their house. Right, Humphrey the hamster, excellent. What else? Olivia? How to make 
helpful? Yeah, you all became so helpful in fourth grade. Learning responsibility. Amelie, how to use PEMDAS. How to use PEMDAS, great idea. Um, PEMDAS was our order of operations. So we know what problems to solve first and which ones to solve last. How about one more? Parent. Homework. Homework. Oh. Okay. Oh. Be nice to Parent. You know how much he loves homework. Oh, boo. All right, fourth grade, we have such a great lit. Maria, did you have something else? Going home. Oh, yeah. Going home. Oh, yeah. Going home. Oh, yeah. Going home. Oh, yeah. I mean, guys, she wasn't serious. Oh, she wasn't serious, right? You can't leave yet. It's our turn in the alphabet. Everybody, what letter comes after H? I! That's right, fourth grade. Can anybody tell me a fourth grade word that starts with the letter I? Axton. English. <laughs> it, English doesn't start with an I, but it does have an I in it, so that's good. Austin, what about you? Intelligence. Intelligence, very good. Everybody say intelligence. Intelligence. That's right, future fourth graders. When you come to fourth grade, we're gonna teach you a wide variety of intelligence that will help you conquer any task, whether it's the PSSAs or everyday activities. <laughs> Cooper, that door's a push, not a pull. Oh. <laughs> All right, fourth grade, what's our next letter? J! What's something in fourth grade that starts with J? Dom! Yeah, John Cena! John Cena does start with J, but unfortunately he wasn't in our fourth grade classroom this year. Reagan? I know. Yeah. 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 fourth grade, what's our next letter? K! And in fourth grade, K stands for karate. Daddy was sensei. We didn't prank karate at all this year. Uh, um, um, oh, okay, uh, what's a better fourth grade word that starts with K? Nate! Kindness! Okay guys, so a better fourth grade word that starts with K is... Kindness! And karate. Welcome to my fourth grade class. My friends here are going to tell you a little bit about lunch. I'm a news because the art class is going to talk about the letter L. L is for lunch. My, my name is Carter. In fourth grade, we eat lunch around 11.20 a.m. Hi, my name is Jordan. The cost of lunch is $2.45. Hi, my name is Alicia. You can get ice cream every day if you would like for $1.00. Good luck in fourth grade! Mr. Deuce, do you know what M stands for? No, what? Motivational music! And you know we all care because we will rock this test out, young man. Trust me, you'll do just fine. I said, young man. Just try and play your mind. I said, young man. Just forget about the rest and just focus on this test now. We're gonna knock out the BSS. 
Welcome to fourth grade. My letters are O, P, and Q. O is for the opportunity to explore different topics in fourth grade. You're going to do fractions. You might get to read books. You're going to have fun stories to read in your English language arts. And you may even get to spend some quality time on an iPad. P is for participation. You're going to be doing a lot of participation in fourth grade. Right, guys? Do you participate a lot in fourth grade? Yes. Yes, you do. Q is for questions. Mrs. Ressler is always available for questions. Okay, boys and girls, one of our letters is R. What kind of word could we use for R in school? Oh, I know what I would like. Retirement. Yes, I know just what to do. I'd be retired and become a rapper. Yeah. Yo, yo, my name is Special K, and my first language was German. When I flew to New York, I think my pilot's name was Herm. I'm a teacher now, and I like my job a lot, except for when the kids I'm trying to teach don't give me all they've got. See, all I'm asking is don't drive the teachers crazy by sitting there all tired, letting your mind get lazy. I hear you moan and groan. I can't write this word. Well, that's the silliest thing that I've ever heard, because if I can do it, you can do it too. So listen up and pay attention, and I'll show you what to do. Rap, rap, y'all. All right, boys and girls, our next letter is the letter S. What could we do with the letter S? Yes, social studies. Excellent. Science. Fantastic. Spelling. Oh, that's a good one. Let's do spelling. Remember, we did all those different kinds of syllable types open and closed and silent D and tippy me and once we got all those down we can show yes. any word right right, right. It's fantastic right. do we have a volunteer Woo! everybody all right heads down i get to all of you uh your word is supercalifragilisticexpialidocious that's okay <laughs> we'll get it let's take turns read Variable is the 
unknown number that we are trying to solve for. And W is you will gain lots of wisdom in fourth grade. Third grade, my name is Mrs. Botman, and I'm a fourth grade teacher here at Washington Elementary. I'm here to tell you about the letters X, Y, and Z. X in fourth grade stands for extra math. This is a math program that we practice our math facts online with. Also, X stands for extra work or extra help if you need it in fourth grade. Y, my fourth graders here on Zoom are going to tell you about the letter Y. Y stands for? Yes, you can. can. Yes, you can means, yes, you can do it, boys and girls. You can do anything that you set your mind to. You just have to have confidence and believe in yourself, and you can do anything in fourth grade. Last, we have the letter Z. Z in fourth grade this year stood for Zoom. All of these students you see learned on Zoom this year. That means they learned online. They stayed at home and they were on their computers. Hopefully next year, no one has to do Zoom learning and everyone can come to school to learn. Z also stands for a zillion. There are a zillion fun and new interesting things to do in fourth grade. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have a great summer. Bye. Bye. Have a great summer.